welcome to Global Nicole. So we've tackled basic bridging, single leg bridging, and today we tackle straight leg bridging. And this is one of those exercises that seems a little sneaky because you're not going to move very much. And you're going to move half an inch, a centimeter, an inch, two inches, you know, it depends on your body and the range and your strength. But it is seriously activating, right? So it can be a little sneaky because you think, oh, she's not really doing that much. But you are going to be doing a lot to try and get your hips up with your legs straight. So if you're not feeling so strong, a couple of things. Make sure to keep your knees a little bent or even go back to episode 13 and just basic bridging. Get your strength up there and then come back to this one. All right, so a couple of things I want to think about when we're doing this is the first one is use your body on the mat to find center because when we come up, we're going to have our legs out straight, resting on your back, and when you bridge up to lift your hips up, your feet are going to want to go bloop, turn out, and you're really going to have to work to stay parallel, right? So you're going to use the pressure in your heels to find that. So if you start to rock to the outer edge of your heel, just bloop, roll back to center, right? So another thing is I want to make sure you use the abdominals that you practiced and you activated in episode 23 so that you're really keeping yourself from like leading from your low back or leading from your chest and your ribs. You're going to be able to use your elbows for some support, but I don't want you to like lead with your chest. I want to keep that pretty con um, sort of condensed a little bit so that you're really leading from the backs of your legs because you want your hip extensors, your hamstrings, and your glutes to activate this more than anything else. All right, let's get into position. You're gonna to come to resting on your back. Once you're resting on your back, do a little wiggle around. See if you can get your upper back and your ribs there. See if you can find a place where you have a balance between your navel, your pubic bone, and your two hip bones here. So you're balancing a coffee cup. Rock on your heels so you can start to play with that. And you're gonna roll the heels to parallel, which is right in the center of the heels. You're going to bend your elbows and make a fist and just press your arms into the mat. All right, remember, keep your knees a little bent if you need to. So I'm going to do the first one bent and then slowly work my way out to straight. We're going to try and go for six of these. You're going to breathe in. As you exhale, pull the belly in, press the heels down and press the arms down and just lift the hips up. And you, it's barely anything, right? I'm barely lifting. I'm noticing my left side's working a little harder than my right, so I'm going to ask my right side to work a little bit more. I'm not pushing from my back. I'm really pulling my belly in and working from just my heels and my arms, and then releasing down. I'm going to stretch my legs out a little bit more, breathing in. As you exhale, draw the abdominals in, press the elbows and the heels, and you wait for the heels to push down to help you lift. It's just like my butt is hovering. Not even that it's coming all the way off, right? I'm still touching the mat. I'm just not weight-bearing and releasing down. Breathing in. Exhale, pressing down through those heels and down through the arms, drawing the belly in. And release. Breathing in again. Exhale, check in with that parallel stance, drawing the belly in. Look down, check everything out. See if you can stretch your legs a little straighter if you're keeping a little bent like I have been. And release. Just two more. Breathing in again. Exhale. Pressing into the heels, pressing into the arms. Keeping those heels parallel. Keep the kneecaps like two headlights pointing straight up towards the ceiling. And your inner thighs spiraling to really face each other. And release. One more there, breathing in. Exhale, pressing the heels down. I'm waiting to feel those bones press down to then hover my hips up. Keeping the lower back long, keeping the belly in. And then release and relax. Then just bend your knees. Hug the knees into the chest and just rock a little side to side there. And then make your way back up. Oh my gosh, that gives new meaning to lighting a fire underneath your butt, right? It's super activating in the backs of those legs and a little sneaky because you're not doing, it's not like you're flailing your body around the room or doing a bunch of push-ups or anything like that. And sometimes those little movements are the ones that are amazing for activating where you can transition it into your daily life.
I want to ask you, when do you find that you can activate these muscles? At the grocery store, when you're standing in line, when you're doing dishes, brushing your teeth, so that you're finding both ease and activation in both your alignment and your life. Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for being here. And until next time, keep moving.